Earlier this week, we talked with Nebraska Extension Beef Genetics Specialist Matt Spangler about bull selection. Matt says while there is a lot of data available when it comes to purchasing bulls, it's important to know which information is useful. We started by asking Matt how to decide what kind of bull you need. Yeah, it really comes down to, to what your breeding objectives are. And what I mean by that are, uh, how do you market your calves? Uh, what are your available feed and labor resources? And then do you intend to retain replacement heifers or not? All those things decide the, the list of traits that are important for you. For instance, if you sell calves at weaning and retain replacement heifers, obviously weaning weight is important. Uh, and, and maternal characteristics for the replacement heifers, be it optimal levels of milk, uh, maternal calving ease, and, and trying to conserve uh, mature weight. Of course, if you're going to breed the bull to, to heifers, uh, calving ease is of concern. So clearly identifying what your goals are and your available feed resources really helps set the stage for what kind of traits you need to look at. And of course, knowing how your calves are performed historically gives you a, a picture of, of what you might need to improve. What tools are out there to help you match those needs? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, there's a lot of a lot of data that goes into bull sale catalogs, but I always tell people there's a difference between data and information. Some of it's really not that informative. And, and so what you really need to focus on, since we're selecting bulls to make genetic change, select on the tools that do that. And that really boils down to expected progeny differences or EPDs. And then several breeds have what we call economic index values, a collection of EPDs multiplied by economic weight. So it really makes selecting for multiple traits at the same time extremely simple and puts it in an economic context. So I encourage producers to, to focus on those kinds of tools. And, uh, you know, if they feel that some of those are, are missing, uh, feel free to ask the seed stock supplier for them. What other things should you be asking your seed stock supplier? Well, in, in addition to, to those critical EPDs and economic index values, obviously uh, they should have some knowledge of what the, the breed average is going into the sale. EPDs are only valuable as a comparison, so you have to know really what, what the average is. Um, the other thing is bulls should pass a breeding soundness exam or a BSC within uh, ideally 30 days uh, or, or earlier prior, prior to the sale, and, and so make sure that they've done that. Um, obviously, that's just a snapshot, so if, if producers are going to turn out bulls um, late in the year, they might want to have another BSE just to protect themselves. Also inquiring about the, the health and management of the bulls is, is certainly fair game as well. Why is that soundness exam so important? Well, obviously, we want to turn out bulls that are fertile, and, and so in breeding soundness exam, uh, we generally make sure that scrotal circumference is of adequate size, uh, that the bulls are able to fully extend and, and produce sperm that's uh, of at least an adequate quality. And, and so we want to try to ensure that bulls are able to, to go out and, and actually settle cows. As you mentioned, there's a lot of information available or a lot of data at least available. Where can you go for more help to try and determine what you need and how to match it? You know, there's a few resources depending on the, the breed of bulls you want to use looking at the respective breed association website to get a feel for some of the tools available within that respective breed and also what the breed averages are for those EPDs and economic indices. We have a lot of information on the UNL Beef website as well and that's uh, beef UNL or beef.unl.edu and and so I would encourage producers to look at that and we have a list of all available EPDs, their definitions and, and those kinds of tools so you can be an educated bull buyer. As Matt mentioned, you can find more resources on this topic through the UNL Beef website. We'll also link to more information on the Market Journal homepage.